secretary, but you know that so something happened. This thing. <laughs> and there is also this idea of accumulation advantage, you know, and this is something that's going on and on, and uh, it's something that um, sometimes it should be broken. And um, so there is some uh, ideas and a strategy and an action that we could take. And um, I was told for, by a colleague of us that is uh, uh, going this um, Olympiad of mathematics, and it, and it was very interesting because she said the participation of girls is very good up to such a level of 13. Uh, 20, uh, 15 or below 15 years old, and then they hear this disappear, because somehow maybe they don't want to 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 be uh, have this kind of of uh, um, hold that they are the kind of uh, to to uh, to efficient students and so on, but they they disappear, but the ability they still keep no. So I think these are some things that I learned. So this, I am afraid that we, we somehow we are very much repeating ourselves, you know. And uh, and the question is that really we should go for action. One of the points that I am also very much involved and I think that's important is the organization of meetings to discuss this thing. So the UPAP, some years ago, realized that the participation of women was very small, and they have uh, tried to organize, they create a committee for this, and a colleague of us, Marcia Barbaza, was uh, uh, one of the founding members of this committee, and they have made a survey, and they have organized the first conference of women in physics in, in Paris. And um, I did this time, I did not know Marcia, and one day I get, got a telephone call, and she told me, you know, I want you to give a talk in this conference, but I say, why? She said, ah, because I entered in the curriculum lattice, that is a base data for CNPQ, and I was looking for some woman that has a good publication, but has family, and I think you should be the one. And she gave me the title. Uh, personal experience of a Latin American physicist and was my most difficult talk. <laughs> but I think it, and this time on, I get more and more involved. So this was the meeting in Paris, and then I decided to organize the second meeting in Rio de Janeiro, that was here, and the third one was organized in, in, in Korea, and it seemed that this has many effects on the on the all this situation and uh, publishing reports and somehow getting women's participation in commissions and uh, and now you pop they only support conference that have women as a speaker or organize otherwise they don't get money for this uh, so there is some ways to make things uh, kind of brute force no and, and this has helped very much, and many, many uh, recommendations that uh, what can be done. And I think from one conference or meeting for, to the other, we are just collecting and repeating the same uh, 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 ideas. But I should not forget to tell that in Brazil, we have a very special situation because we have the secretary for politics for women and with Minister Nilceia Freire, and here we have her representative. And uh, I think this is very important uh, that uh, this thing is going on because it has a spec that is connected to, to Yana's because they are selecting students to write uh, some... Uh, uh, some um, mm, text about women in, in, in science, and, and there is boys that are doing a very good job and getting prize. I think that's uh, excellent. And we have also the GED Brazil, uh, that is led by, by, by Alicia Abreu, and uh, we have some, um, said some meetings, and the idea is to have some uh, action 
plans and uh, some to some objectives to be reached and you also can read there I have uh, no time to read all and this has a list of uh, uh, participation of uh, very important the person like uh, for example Mariana Zatz that is uh, Lucia Previato and uh, Lucia Mello that is the president of uh, of CGE and uh, Beatriz that got the prize last year from UNESCO. So we hope that this group can proceed and really make good contribution. And then we did uh, a conference that we call Latin American Women in Exit and Bioscience. And this was done here in Rio de Janeiro, I and Marcia, at the meeting in Paris before the second one, we did this meeting. And this is going on. We have the first one in Brazil. We have the second one in Mexico. The third one was in Bolivia, organized by, by Elsa that could not come. And we had the fourth one in Guatemala and the sixth one will be Honduras next year. I may need to use my Italian passport to go there, but <laughs> I think I, I will go. And I think this, this is very important because uh, uh, in these meetings, you know, in each of these regions, I would say, uh, the problematic is different, you know? Of course, the situation in Brazil is much different from Bolivia and so on. And, and the, the possibility to discuss and uh, uh, share uh, experience among the ladies, but that we have also here you 15% know, of men that are taking part. I think it's, it's, it's very important. But uh, what I would like to leave for you as a final message is that besides to work to have more women inside, it's urgent and necessary that we qualify their participation better. Uh, you see that uh, I was vice president of Brazilian Physical Society, and uh, in 2003, we, I make a survey to see how many uh, women, what percentage of doctor, and so and so. And, uh, and then three or four years later, I did it again. The number of members of Brazilian Physics Society has increased, but the number of women with doctor degree and so remains the same uh, percentage, you know, the same fraction. So I think the idea that if we have more women in the, uh, the bottom that we're going up is, is not right. You know, something should be done so that, uh, and uh, I have uh, plenty of ideas, but I, I, and this is what also I, I would like to to say, but I have also, you know, these are all suggestions that we took out from this uh, woman in physics, uh, woman uh, in science, and that repeating human in physics. So there is many, many uh, uh, suggestions how we can do. But um, I think we find some. We need to find some way to make these things going. I thank you for. For we the women, we need now to really try to have some action and with help with the men. And I hope the academy can also be uh, uh, our partner in this way. So thank you very much.